Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, I don't know if it's a little late for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I know that I said that I wouldn't give you all a favorites. I've been convinced to change my mind. I figured I could give you all some insight as to what some of my favorite products were this spring, summer. You all know that I try a lot of products, but there are just some products that just come in clutch, especially when it's super hot outside. Hopefully this doesn't ruin my plan of giving you all my favorites of the entire year of 2020. I feel like I need to make a disclaimer. You all know that I am a product junkie, so I have tried a lot of new things all summer. But there are just some products in my stash that when I have a fail are always going to come through in the clutch. A lot of times, especially in this environment meaning YouTube there are times when my hair just doesn't cooperate or doesn't look good or I get flakes and it's a lot of times that you all don't get to see that so that is why there is an excessive amount of cleansers being mentioned because sometimes things just don't work out and I have to wash my hair and start all over again this list of favorites that I've curated from my stash does not include a significant amount of conditioner so let's go ahead and get started so the first product shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. This is the Main Choice Exotic Kool-Aid Minty Guava and Kiwi Shampoo. At this point, I have lost count of how many videos I have mentioned this in. This spring and summer was ridiculously hot and I have a lot of hair and there were just times where I just needed a cool breeze to my scalp. It's super moisturizing and it just gives my scalp that minty fresh tingle that I love oh so much. It's a holy grail product for me from the Main Choice and a product that I will continue to repurchase. Next product is another cleanser and this is the Texture ID Dry Hair and Scalp Relief with Eucalyptus Exfoliating Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. I have mentioned this in a couple of previous videos as well. Again, this just gives my hair that super moisturizing feeling while also giving my scalp that tingly, fresh cooling sensation. This is also super, super affordable. I believe this is like seven or eight dollars at Sally Beauty. Now I will say that if you like to shampoo your hair in the shower and you like it real steamy, this is going to clear all of the congestion. So. 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. Next is another cleanser, but this is a clay cleanser. This is the Main Crush Crisis Control Ayurvedic Cleansing Mask. And I do have a video where I tried this as well. This is super whipped and buttery and has fantastic slip. Because of the Ayurvedic ingredients, it's very detoxifying to the hair and scalp as well. So not only is it conditioning it and providing slip for me to detangle, it's also cleansing my hair and scalp while I'm applying it. Whenever I try anything with any type of Ayurvedic ingredient. It always feels like it's giving my hair some strengthening. This just made my hair and scalp feel so nourished and conditioned and clean. I'm excited to try this as my soul cleanser one wash day so stay tuned for my thoughts on that. So the next cleanser is from Soultanicals and this is their Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo and again I do have a recent video where I tried this out. This is probably my favorite of the butter shampoos that I've tried. Great slip, great moisture. Hair is nice and conditioned but it's also clean. I I will say that butter shampoo is an accurate description, but I more so use it as a co-wash or a mild cleanser. Sotanicals is just a clutch quality Ayurvedic ingredient brand, and I highly recommend if you're in the market to pick this up. And my last cleanser for today, another clutch player when my hair just fails, is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash a cult favorite. People have been reaching for this for years and I didn't really pick this up until last year just because I didn't really believe the hype and I didn't think that it would be a decent cleanser but oh boy was I wrong. Not only do you get hella product for like six dollars, this is actually very conditioning, has fantastic slip and it does a great job at cleansing my hair especially when I have those horrible ashy flaky styles that you all never get to see. I feel like the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash was kind of like the benchmark and kind of to set the standard for cleansing conditioners and I finally see why. I love this and I will continue to repurchase because it literally meets all of my co-wash requirements so definitely pick it up if you're interested. If you're a regular around here this probably shouldn't be a surprise to you either. This next one is the Chocolate Kinks and Curls Red Clay and Hibiscus Clay Wash. The Aloha Rose was just in my most recent empties. I used that up so quick and I'm flying through this one too. This one has just been great. Now I know that this says that it's a clay wash and it does have some detoxifying properties but I tend to use this more as a conditioning detangling product. It's super nourishing, super moisturizing and has fantastic slip. I did pick up the eight ounce packaging and all of the chocolate kinks and curls clay washes that I picked up but surprisingly they have all lasted me at least three washes. To me, you know what I'm saying, these, these are fantastic and um, I'm probably going to wind up getting the larger ones because 
they're wonderful. This next one is this Soul Tanicals Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Finger Greek Mask Treatment. I have a video where I use this as well. Probably the best deep conditioner I have ever tried from Soul Tanicals. Great slip, great moisture, great ingredients. You all know that if you saw my most recent Soul Tanicals wash day when they had their restock, that this is just it's just my favorite and i love it and it came through in the clutch many a day this summer when i had some product fails and if you love yourself i would highly recommend you go and pick it up the next product that i want to mention i actually tossed it because it was in my most recent empties i was using it up all summer long and that is the main choices pearly braid out glaze i have probably multiple videos where I've mentioned the pearly braid out glaze. It has saved me from looking a hot mess many a day this summer. It has great shine, great moisture, great hold. It also smells really, really good and a little bit goes a very long way. I definitely want to repurchase, but I probably will not repurchase at this time just because I have like hella cheers gelatos to get through. But know that to me, it is definitely worth a repurchase. And once I work my way through some of my cheers gelatos, I'll definitely be picking that up again. And last but not least of my favorites for the summer is probably the most odd, and this is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Control Me Edge Gel. I'm just going to link the video in the cards where I use this as a styler. My hair came out bomb. I don't, as you can see, at all slick down my edges, but this gave me a fantastic Bantu knot out, and I'm probably going to use it for a braid out or a twist out really, really soon because I missed the old simple days where I just used an edge control to get me a bomb style that lasted me several days. So if edge control doesn't work on your edges, please, try it as a styler and thank me later. So that about wraps up all of the products that have came through for me this summer. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know what some of your favorite products were this spring and summer. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.